let's talk. Let's talk a little wrestling. Is uh, um, did you see? Like, you were very controversial last time you were on the show. Well, let me let me wanna... just say if I can jump in. I just had Don Callis on my radio show today, mm-hmm. right? And we did the interview like half kayfabe and half you know right. half uh, behind the scenes, and it was brilliant. It's one of the best interviews I've ever had on the show. I called him Mister Callis. He said, "Mark, you're one of the few people who can relate to me intellectually." Uh, you can catch it on on the podcast on wxdx.com. It was just so much fun. Yeah, you've been Friend a regular the, the Pat McAfee show lately too. Yes, I love doing Pat McAfee. That's good stuff. What do you think about Pat Pat McAfee? Uh, the WWE said that they're like I, I guess they didn't fire him, but they told him they're not using him for the unforeseeable future. What do you think about that? Well, I think they're going to do a blow off match with him and Adam Cole. Uh, WrestleMania. Near WrestleMania, not at WrestleMania. Yeah, they're going to have to. He's a draw. They're they're, they're definitely needing him for WrestleMania. Yeah, but he should be on TV. Hey, not only should Pat McAfee be on NXT every week, he should be doing the promo in the first segment for Raw or SmackDown. Absolutely. He's the best promo they have. But but this is my theory, okay? Here's what bothers them about Pat. They didn't create him. He's just Pat McAfee. He's not totally beholden to them. He has another job that he makes a lot of money from. He doesn't need them. They want their employees to need them so they can push them around and intimidate them. Well, that that mindset to me is very dumb. You know what I'm oh, saying? No so, I mean, you know, I mean, Matt, Pat McAfee's been a breath of fresh air. He's obviously a wrestling fan. He's obviously respectful. He act, he actually had a really good match. He's always good on his promos, yep. you know, good on his delivery. He can help a lot of those guys that can't talk. He should be on there every f- week. I, I, I couldn't agree more, but... Uh, He's not on TV, and 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 that damages the three guys he was with too, like Pete right. Dunne and them, because he was getting them over. So what and do you bring him in for? Not. For him not to get over? I mean, that's incredible to me. You know, you brought him in, he got over. Now take advantage of it. Well, if if uh, if Tony Khan's smart, he'll bring him in as soon as his WWE contract expires, and they can put Pat in the broadcast booth. Because why would you have seven announcers when you can have eight? That's true. Let me ask I mean, you that, this: that, I got to get that in there. I love AEW's product. The amount of guys they have on mic during matches is absurd. It's absurd. You have like Ross and Shivani and Excalibur and Jericho, and then a wrestler jumps on, and it's just too much. All those guys are very good individually. Taz used to be in the picture. you got to have two announcers, two. That's all you need is two announcers, period. 